Yeah, all right, people of the internet. This is Mega Sophie here playing some Pokemon Uranium fan-made Pokemon game that I just that just came out not too long ago, about last week. Last week, I think. Sometimes this or last week. Whatever. I actually made a save file because I was trying to change the controls on here, but it wouldn't save. So I went ahead and. Um, made a little save file to see if it actually saved if I made a save file and it does I didn't read any story I, I didn't read any of the story I just kind of skimmed through it so I can make a save so because I thought I'm you know what I just said make a save file save the settings so this will be my actual I want to actually see what's going to happen in the story once I see this so I want to do regular I want to do a Nuzlocke because if I die, then, you know, this new experience, I won't be able to see it once the Nuzlocke is done and over. Yes. Ah, uh, who is this? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is, what? Bambo, what a stupid name. Er, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Oh, oh. Didn't know ten year olds can apply for jobs, but you know that works too if we even are ten. Oh look, a new Pokemon. We humans share this uh anyway well, before I finish the sentence. Yes, this game it does have fake Pokemon in them. But also heard this game is really good. The creator worked on it for nine years. About I think I saw an article on Google somewhere that the creator of Pokemon Uranium worked on this game for nine years so I'm so I guess from this year that'd be 2008-ish I think maybe counting that one whatever more than mere animals Pokemon uh, possesses astonishing powers and re remarkable intelligence people Pokemon causes in many ways some Pokemon are kept as pets others help us with work and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself but there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type. Each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Ah, but uh, but I'll tell you more your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Who are you? Ah, yes. Uh, there's two, f there's two guys and one girl. Huh. I don't know, I seen this guy in the middle. He looks kind of, he looks kind of cool. Kind of, kind of like in that ponytail he got there. I'm liking this guy too. Huh. Is that like a hood here? No, wait. What he is? I don't know that scarfy this guy has on is kind of capturing my style. I don't know, I kind of like this guy right here. This guy's like super serious. You know I'm gonna pick this guy. It's not a Nuzlocke, but I said this in the Sonya video that I made before. I am attached to this name. I'm attached to making my Pokemon characters this name. I actually restarted uh, my Pokemon White 2 uh, game. I reset it and named my character Nuzduck. Yes, I am attached to this name all of a sudden. I don't know why. My name is Nuzduck. Yes. I was like, are you ready? Your journey, your story, it's about to unfold. The future is blank slate. We together with the Pokemon are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Ten years, ten years ago, huh? Nuzlocke's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. The father, the father, Kellen, or Kaline, I don't know how to pronounce that. Let's just say Kellen for now. The father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Huh, Pokemon Ranger. That's cool. The mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Huh. Nuclear energy, interesting. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they also found time to spend at home with their with going nuzzle. The young nuzzle. 
Tandor region was at peace. Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change its world. The future seemed bright until. It was an ordinary day at a nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, he brought in specialists to take a look at the electrical systems. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator, generator you design really does, a, does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. Everybody has their work. We'll finish for lunch. Uh, boss, I might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the therometer or... The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. Can't be the therometer. I just checked that. So... Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now! Lucille, you have to leave too. Lucille! Whoa! Cameron's hub, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years. Foiling any attempt to try to search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kalin? Kellen? Whatever. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Nuzuk was sent to live with his elderly auntie in Mo Moki Town? Moki Town? Whatever. I think it's Moki Town. Let's say Moki Town. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied. Nuzduck and their young childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youth of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Nuzduck's journey began. Nuzduck, come downstairs. You're late. And here I am. Uh-huh. Yeah, I kind of guess it's going to be a summer. Oh, I gotta check that PC. That's the first thing. I saw that PC. I do that in every Pokemon game. When I, when I see that PC, just, just first reaction. If I go over there. Yeah, I guess this is where she sleeps, whatever. Just exploring. Oh. What? Oh, I guess I can't run. I'm giving, I'm giving the option. Whatever. Hello, sweetie. Oh, that's like to wait. That's like sweetie. Today's your big day, isn't it? Can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know you're ready for this. You and that boy Theo always following in your footsteps. That one. You've always been so capable. But I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. Sure, his father Cameron couldn't allow him, unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Oh, running shoes! You got me the new vans. I think I already did that in the menu, so I don't think I need to hold it. I, I don't think I need to hold down the button. Um, I think that's actually from uh, Heart Goes So Silver. So yeah. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. You know, your, your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you too. I'm positive you run into him doing your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor I met. And for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Whoa! Running! Running! Right! Whoa, this is town. And yes, I'm playing at night. I'm playing. I am playing this game at 11:08 at right now as I'm recording. So get so yeah, there's a day and night system. As soon as I saw that it was a, it was like really dark. I was like, oh yeah, it must be a day and night system. So I'll see what time it is. Oh, that's like you're leaving home, right? Here, have this. It'll help you on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. Whoa. 
Okay, win them. Okay, I'll take it. Let's check all the houses. They finally hang out on an adventure, eh? You take out their old man that way. Oh, this is a new Pokemon? Chin Chin. Yeah. My husband has long been an admirer of your father, you know. That's nice. Can click on that. Alright, let's go to another house. Oh, hello. Oh, it's town's huge for I'm so jealous that you got to have your own Pokemon. My mama says I gotta wait till I'm older. Oh no, you could be a youngster. Children grow up so fast. Not not so long long ago, it seemed like it I myself. Oh, be sure to have fun in your journey. Oh, oh! Isn't this guy from the cutscene? Oh no, Zuck, today is your first day and Theo received the first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo certainly was excited. Excited. I imagine you must be too. I remember that day all those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you once. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it was like. It's an auspicious day. Hey, indeed. If you're looking for Theo, Frey's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon Lab in the North Town. It's not very patient, so so you should probably hurry along and join him. Well, let me check the rest of your house. Looks the same as mine. There's a story typed up on a computer, the most awesome Pokemon trainer in the world, by Theo Kane, age 11. So yeah, I'm probably like 12 or 13, probably. It looks poorly written. Yeah, I'll read it. The, the best, most awesome Pokemon trainer here was a champion of Kanto, Johto, and Tandor. He never lost one single time. His Pokemon were strong and powerful. They were so, so tough that they got a new evolution called Super Mega Evolve. Excuse me? Everyone thought he was that he was cool, including his best friend Nuzduck. Huh? That trainer name was Theo. Huh? Whatever. Wait, I wanted to see that. It's the map of the Tandor region. Oh, this is a very detailed made map. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I turn my head a little, kind of looks like Unova. When I turn my head a little, it kind of looks like you know Unova. Dude, this looks like Unova. If you tilt your head, this looks like Unova, huh? Whatever. Technology is incredible. I can now trade Pokemon with my friends across the world with po power, with power of the internet. Yes, since like fourth gen. Professor ba Bambo has a lab in in a house on the cliff. I wonder why he lives in Moki Town of all places. Excellent. My favorite Pokemon is Kabug, Cubug. So cute. Oh, I guess it is pronounced Cubug or whatever. I think I like a Burby. It's a flying type, so it's strong against bugs. You don't say. Loki Town is so nice and peaceful, and everyone knows one another. I'd much rather they live here than in the big city. Eh, not a, not a lot of Pokestops stops here, you know. Listen, have you heard of a new new video game? It's called Pokemon Red. Really? So this is beyond the fourth wall. Well, probably like a border, whatever. I bought my son a new video game all the children are playing these days, but now he won't put it down in even a second. So I'm guessing this world is like, um, if you know Digimon, it's kind of like Digimon Tamers in a way. The third Digimon season. Where everything that happened in the previous seasons is just like a game. So I'm guessing it's like the same for this season too. So yeah, oh. oh. So you're going to be the, be the big breadwinner, huh? Now, hey, nothing. You should pop up. I have to visit your auntie now and again. Okay, this guy. Let's go to the lab now. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tando are native to this region, but there are so much that can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. Why would I want a Dunsparce? What the? What the? What the? What the hey, what the? Hey, wait up! That's the kid. He's so small. He's so tiny. 
Hey, where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, didn't he leave before me? I guess. Well, that ain't gonna happen because I'm going to get the strongest one first. You know, usually when stuff like that happens, we battle, but, you know, we don't have Pokemon yet. Try to keep up, Nuzduck. But you're literally walking and I have running shoes, so I don't really care. Whoa. Whoa, those are the starters? Uh, hello? Hey, if it isn't Nuzduck. And, uh, your friend Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right, right, Theo. Yeah, you're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work, yes? Field research assistant at Bamboo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get started though, both of you have to take the Pokemon Trainer at the two tests. What gayness is that? Excuse me? I played this game for the gameplay, not a test. I did not come here for a test. Okay, sir? Test? I didn't study for any test. I thought we were going to give us a rare, po powerful Pokemon. Well, I don't know about powerful, but you know. Now, now, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon training you, you'll need. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battle st styles. Starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm not talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Jeez, kid. You're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you want to know more ab about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide now. Nuzduck, are you ready to take me? Yeah, sure, I'm gonna get it over with. Excellent, so without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Attack it right away. Wait and see what it does. Throw a poke flipping Pokeball at it. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach a Pokemon? Hyper Beam, Protect, Hidden Power. Flipping Hyper Beam? <laughs> kind of impressive. What's a TM anyway? Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win in all out of... Flippin... Huh. Oh, Ampharos, to be honest. What if you Mega Evolve Gyarados? Doesn't he turn half dragon? Okay, I'm, th I'm talking about this, like... Like, now-ish. I'm talking about I'm talking about this like now in an actual battle with Mega Evolution like Huh Afros I guess Is it possible to fail this test? No it isn't. Now this is your final question and answer it honestly. Where's your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Become the very best like no one's ever was! No question about it, I'm gonna be a Pokemon master and nobody uh, he's going to stand in my way. Nah, I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, it's finished. I made my analysis. What? Now, Duck, you seem to be a trainer who don't hesitate to go, go for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. It's saying the best defense is a good offense is probably your mantra. Is that what he said? You have a burning spirit that within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you, Raptorch is the best pick. You got the fire Pokemon. Raptorch. I kind of like that name. Raptorch. Go ahead. Take it, Nuzduck. Nuzduck attained Raptorch. I don't know, I kinda like the name Raptorch. But well, if I'm gonna rename him. I wanna name him Lit. <laughs> name him Lit, just for the heck of it. What the? What the? Eh, okay, okay, I guess we're not naming him Lit. Hmm, 
was a good name then. You know, I just got an idea. I remember... Name Quantum. If that's how you spell it. I don't know, I kind of like it. Is it Quantum? Quantum? Or Quantum? I think it's Quantum. Boy, I remember this from, um... Going back to my childhood here, but... Remember from Pokemon, not Pokemon, but Power Rangers. Power Rangers, um, Time Force was it? There was a ranger called the Quantum Ranger, and he had like a, 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 a cool dinosaur-like um, Zord. And it like looked really cool, and, it, and this uh, little guy kind of reminds me of it. So yeah, we'll name him Quantum. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Nuzda, I got their start already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Dio. Hmm, you're gonna give him the better Pokemon of me, right? What, he can also get a rat? He can also get a Raptor? Dio. Well, you certainly know what you want out in life. You're impulsive, impatient, and, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young, I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, he gets the grass type. That is cool, because I get to actually have the advantage for once. For once, you get the advantage! For once in life. Yes! My first Pokemon! Oh my god. No suck! You have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what that means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. Whoa! Whoa! They made their own battle theme in this game too. Whoa! It's like, it's like a, it's like a fiction a little. Whoa! Whoa! This looks cool. Whoa! I love how they styled the game. This is cool. I have Ember. So it's like 6th gen. So this game runs on 6th generation uh, logic. Oh my god, I murdered him. Wait, where's our health bar? Oh, is our health bar the entire, like, uh... It's like every... It's like that... Oh, that's cool! But how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever! That's impossible! Good trainers never lose! I... Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll hear your Pokemon for you. Your Pokemon were healed, even though there was no point. All you did was heal like a PowerPoint. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How, I... how, how come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win! Well, between you and... Between your starter and those ducks, there was a type advantage. Plus, I had a potion, but he didn't have to know that. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at, at any rate. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. Luckily, I know every single one of them. No way! I don't want a do over! How come Nuzduck gets the better starter? Ah, it's not fear! I'm going home! Good, good, kid! <sighs> he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be too quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. I expect he'll, he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. One of the entrance is a route, route, route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Nuzduck. Alright. I think that's a good place to end this episode, guys. It was great to see this new experience. This is also cool, man. This fan made game is freaking awesome. I never really actually liked fake Pokemon games. I never really even touched them, but this has the best of potential. I recommend you guys play it if you haven't. Oh my god. Goodness, I don't even know where Route 1 is. Where is Route 1? But you know, we'll do all that next episode. 
So, anyways, until then, guys, I'll, I'll see you then.